repression and maintenance, including inspections and dislodging of Jokaso. To ensure the continued and safe functioning of Jokaso, regular maintenance inspections and dislodging operations are necessary. In Japan, this work is regulated and carried out as stipulated by a legal framework. This flowchart shows how Jokaso are operated, maintained, and managed. During the maintenance inspection of a Jokaso, the facility is thoroughly checked and adjustments and repairs are performed. The timing for collecting the excess sludge that has accumulated in the Jokaso is also determined. A Jokaso consists of a tank, conduits, air pipes, electrical wires, blowers, and its attached components. All of these are included in the scope of the maintenance inspection. In some cases, pump tanks are installed, which are also in the scope of the maintenance inspection. In this part will be described a typical maintenance inspection and dislodging operation of a Jokaso. First, let us see the different steps of a maintenance inspection. After arriving at the site, before opening the manhole, the area around the Jokaso is inspected to check for odors, abnormal noise, the condition of the inlet and outlet pipes, the usage condition of the surrounding ground, the condition of the manhole cover seals and damage, the condition of the top slab, the sinking and rising of the ground around the Jocasso and ancillary facilities, and the condition of the discharge point. Next, the manhole is opened and visually checked for any damage to the internal devices and components, such as the pipes, baffle walls, or bulkheads of the Jocasso. If the tank is damaged, the water level may drop, so the water level is verified to ensure that it is at a proper level. Maintenance inspections are performed according to a flow sheet, from the discharge side to the inflow side. First, to check the treatment performance of the Jokaso, a sample of the effluent from the sedimentation tank is collected and the transparency index and pH are measured. Nitrogen and phosphorus may also be measured as needed. In addition, to ensure that the discharge effluent is disinfected in a hygienically safe manner, a sample of water is taken in the disinfection tank and the residual chlorine is measured. To ensure the functioning of the biological reaction tank, water quality parameters relating to the biological reaction, such as dissolved oxygen, pH, and water temperature, are checked. The condition of the aeration and agitation from the rise and flow of the surface water is also verified. In addition, the condition of the biofilm attached to the contact media and other parts of the Jokaso is checked. 
as well as the necessity of doing backwashing and the amount of biomass. In the primary treatment compartment, the effluent is sampled and transparency, DO, pH and other parameters are measured to verify the solid liquid separation, sludge storage and the functioning of biological treatment by anaerobic microorganisms. After measuring the water quality, the condition of the influent flowing into the jocaso is estimated. Then the scum and accumulated sludge are measured to determine the appropriate timing for the sludging. Based on the results of the inspection are carried out sludge transfer, backwashing, adjustments of the pumps and air diffusers, as well as the amount of dissolved disinfectant. The disinfectant is replenished and the blowers and other attached devices and components are inspected. For the blower equipping small-scale jocaso, this device is examined to ensure that its capacity is not reduced by cleaning the filter and checking the airflow. When the inspection is completed, a maintenance record sheet is created and the house owner is informed of the results and given advice on how to use jocaso appropriately in the future based on the maintenance record sheet. Sludge is generated in the jocaso as pollutants are removed. The sludging is the process of extracting sludge from the tank. Sludge accumulates at the bottom of the tank in the filter media filling area at and near the water surface as scum. In addition, the tank may also be dislodged when foreign substances enter the tank and adversely affect the functioning of the biological treatment or when a large amount of oil flows into the tank. In Japan, vacuum trucks are used for desludging. The scum at and near the water surface and the accumulated sludge at the bottom of the tank are extracted. Together with this operation, the filter media is cleaned carefully in order not to damage the internal devices and associated components while the accumulated sludge is also removed. During the desludging, it is easier to check the internal conditions of the devices and components that are usually under water. The internal parts of the tank can also be observed through the manholes to check for damage the partition walls and the tank itself. If the internal parts of the tank remain empty after desludging, the tank may be deformed or damaged due to soil pressure, therefore the tank should be filled with tap water. These maintenance and desludging operations ensure the good functioning of Jocaso. To achieve this, it is important to train the technicians who conduct the operation and maintenance of these facilities. 
In Japan, there is a qualification and training system for the technicians involved in the operation and maintenance of Jokaso, as well as a registration and licensing system for Jokaso businesses, which all together contribute to the preservation of the water environment.